hi virgo this is kelly from house of virgo here doing your next 24 hours love reading i hope you are all doing well all right virgo this is a reading for virgos only virgo sun moon rising venus um, if you're new to my channel welcome please do click the like share and subscribe button and please do make sure you hit that notification bell and enable the alert in your phone if you are listening on your through your youtube app all right so let's see virgo what's going on here for love um there's also a link in the description box below this video if you would like to get a personal reading from me okay it's a phone call reading it's a one hour reading all right let's see virgo Virgo, sun, moon, rising. What's going on? Okay, center of the reading is ten of cups. So you got a couple. Of, we got three marriage cards here. Three out of five. Okay. Eight of swords. Ten of wands. The hanged man. I just felt like pulling from here. Okay, four four swords. Okay. So the past position, the opportunity. For a committed relationship and to build something was on the table um, but somebody was hesitant your person was hesitant very hesitant um, walls up boundaries up and they were very persistent in keeping their distance or keeping themselves protected so we have Taurus Aquarius Pisces energy okay that resonates great if not don't worry about it um, this person mostly was hesitant because they've been busted and disgusted in the past and they had a great fear of being hurt again okay um, or they saw that in their family of origin their parents their parents for some of you it looks like their parents just made them work it's almost like slave labor here i never even looked at that card and saw that before but it feels like the parents are always dictating the child always had to work 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 i, I don't know if this person hmm, felt like they could do it just or just too like you know they went from being a young person that was always mastering their craft and then the opportunity to arose either with you or with someone else to have like a formal committed structured relationship and look at them they grew to be in very cynical about that okay very cynical two of cups <laughs> yeah i just it just feels like they never had time they had time for very light romance but nothing deep and committed mostly friends or friends with benefits because their focus all the time seemed to be on you know their skills their work their craftsmanship teamwork collaboration uh, it was all for the parents because the three of pentacles can be a marriage card it was all for what the parents wanted what the parents said i'm going deep 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 into the dark wedges and crevices of this person's psyche and i don't like doing that so let me keep moving here but i do but okay i want to say though that when you two did meet they were definitely wanting to try to see what you both could carve out together definitely okay but mm, maybe they got spooked or they felt like it was rushing or it was going too fast yeah they stalemated it that's what it was they put a stalemate on it they said well hold on i need to think okay i know i got to make a decision but i'm not ready i'm not ready to make this decision that's how they were in the past so they either put a stop to it or they blocked it yeah and they basically it was like the best they could arrive at with the page of wands here sitting on the nine of wands was just to be you know flirtatious and fun and keep things lighthearted and a little childish and uh, just be like, this like, uh, well, I have a crush on you. Uh, I don't know about, like, I have a thing for you. Like, there's a spark, but I don't know about, like, more than, I don't know if I can do that, that kind of thing. All right, let's take a look. I want to see what the love message is here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, this person. Mm, just 
ridiculous um, for where they are. There was definitely true love. Remember that song by Madonna, True Love? I'm not going to sing it because I just don't feel like it. So, yeah, they definitely, look at them. True love was calling them. It's so funny how you look at these pictures. Look at that boy. It's like, I want to play, I want to play, I want to be in the true love, right? The child in them definitely wanted that, like that inner child. But the, 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 the person that grew up was like grumpy, bumpy, mumpy. No, I don't know if I can do love. I don't know. I'm... I'm so tired. I don't know. I'm, my boundaries are up. I don't want to get hurt. I've dealt with a lot. And I'm not making fun of your person. I'm just trying to like do this person's voice. Um, so they're very conflicting. You know, it's like, like, yes, 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 yes. I want the true love. And then wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Okay. Deception. Some is wear a false mask in this relationship. See, that's what I was saying. Very conflicting energy here. You know, <laughs> come forward you know the page of the page of wands is that's a card of like being active you know enthusiastic yeah 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 communicating yeah 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 so this person communicated with you in the past that they had a thing for you and they wanted you and they were like inspired by you and they had like a like a little crush or spark or that you were it for them but yet they didn't do anything about it because the Nine of Wands just stands there. True love was right there, and they knew it, but they just, like, their mouth went before their feet. And that's what the deception was. That's basically all talk, no action, okay? Hmm. All right, let's see. So, while well, things change, <laughs> okay? There's a present change happening here. Um, despite their insecurities and despite their self-imposed prison that they still currently live in, Happy Harry is going to take a leap of faith and go for it with you. <laughs> Happy Harry happy-go-lucky, freedom-loving, no ties to bind me, nothing to hold me down. I can travel the world. I can go on my new adventures. I can just take off whenever I want. I can start a new beginning and a new life anytime I want, and now I want to do it with you, okay? Despite the fact that I have mental strife okay because that's the eight of swords all right this person mm -mm -mm. despite restrictions if there's restrictions right now where you are where they are doesn't matter I'm gonna bust out of those restrictions i'm free free falling um and i kind of feel like you know what 11 11 11 11 with this four swords here, four swords here. Structure and balance, things balance out. This person, they're blindfolded. They're blindly going into this. If, they, if your person is to sit and think and analyze this anymore, they would completely tear it to shreds with their analyzing it. And I know you Virgos know what I'm talking about, right? They would just completely demolish it to the point where, you know, like vultures on a carcass, there's nothing, there's no meat left. This person knows they got to stop thinking about it so much and take the risk. So they're blindly going towards you, coming towards you. <coughs> Finances and career. And reconciliation. There you go. Taking care of their business presently. Finishing up. Reconciling. Looking at their bank account. Looking at their career. Sorting it all out. And saying, okay, this is how much I have. This is what I'm able to go with. 
and it just feels like no more stalling because that two of swords you know that's a stalling energy and i feel like this person is like packing up going to an accountant looking at all their money decisions being made but it's not it's not a decision where okay let me think and let me figure it out that kind of thing let me just put my money here put my money there and let me just take care of all the financials and then i'm gonna take that journey towards virgo okay i'm just gonna do it because if they think about it it's gonna be gone the opportunity gets missed because i don't know that you're hanging around <laughs> virgo i mean maybe you are but Something's inspiring them. Let's see. Okay, temperance. Five of cups. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Six of cups. Total reconciliation. Look, their peace, harmony, balance, the time is right, is with you. Taking this risk, this journey, just that leap of faith. They know. Like the time is right now and it, the fruit is ripe. If you don't go get the fruit now, it's ripe and it's ready to eat, then it's gonna rot. And that's what's going on here. It's gonna rot. Look at that five of cups. And it just, you can't bring it back once it's rotted, can you? Ooh, once it's completely rotted by neglect, by um, the lack of nourishment. You can't bring it back. Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. And so here they are, okay? This is what's driving them to come back towards you now, okay? Grief, they don't wanna be in grief. They don't wanna feel that loss or that regret. They don't wanna have any regrets. They don't wanna feel like they're not lovable or worthy. They don't want to feel abandoned. Look at the difference. Look at how, look at this. Look at how dark and dreary. This is like the bottom of a swamp. That's what that looks like, these colors. The bottom of a murky, disgusting, smelly, dirty swamp. And then you've got this. This is like fresh, clean linen laundry here. You know, that's, that's, that's what we want. The smell of fresh linen. <laughs> Okay, and then we have the six of cups. You have the six of cups here, so innocence, pure. This is this is why, like, this person is kind of like, you know what? I've been trapped in my head about my past for so long, and I've been stuck there. But I've been letting myself be stuck there. I've been self sabotaging. This person misses the childhood that they probably really didn't get to have, okay? They suffered. Like I said, I feel like, you know, the three of pentacles in, the, in this person's past, school. It's a, it's a card of school as well. Um, education. They may have been, like, just forced or told, like, put that first, put that first, put that first, put work first, put work first. And here they are, like, you know, the Six of Cups is always that card of innocence, nostalgia, reunions, you know. Um, and I feel like for them, their childhood was sabotaged and, and going forward in their life, okay. And uh, there's a huge fear of commitment. But they're going to take that leap of faith because, again, dry rot. Don't come back from dry rot. <laughs> dry rot. That's like in a tooth, right? That's very painful. That kind of rot, this isn't just, you know, limp, brownish green plants and leaves. All over. This is like dry rot. This is painful because, you know, rejection is easier to handle than regret. Regret is forever. Rejection is just temporary. You know, you can get over that, but regret? Oh, forget that. That's forever. And this person does not want to live with regret. 
So they're coming towards you, okay, to reconcile and to uh, try to come into that Ten of Cups energy, that total love and support. Like it's coming at you. Everything you want and everything you need. She's everything he wants. She's everything he needs. Okay. Playfulness and soulmate. How beautiful. All right, Virgo. Coming to the end of this burden. Enlightenment. A wake-up call happening here. In the, going forward in the future. And look at this. Peace. Eternal rest. Not like in the morbid way, but absolute peace. And recovery. And renewal. Okay? No, this struggle is coming to an end. You know, yeah, they're coming back and they're going to try to reconcile and try to bring like all the love and support that you need and you want and you require from them. But going forward, you know, they'll carry your, I just heard, I'll carry your book bag 20 miles in the snow, barefoot, uphill, anything for you. <laughs> well, I didn't hear it. I saw an image of it. So I was just describing the image because I, I get those visions. But the Ten of Wands here, this is like, I am so exhausted from carrying the burdens of my past and everything else. I just want rest. And I want to lay my head in your arms, on your chest, and I just want peace. I just want to be spiritually illuminated. I just want to have a different perspective and I want to feel safe and I want to feel like I know that even though not even though our um, even though oh, they're giving they're telling me to stop even though we're stuck in this tree and our circumstances may not be the best I know that with you I can see clearly what's ahead of me I can see with my mind's eye it's like I just know the intuition you know wow this person is poetic <laughs> very poetic I know you're like no my ex or my guy or my girl well my guy works on cars <clears throat> he's a mechanic he's not poetic at all okay well he probably just buries himself in his muffler and his engine so he doesn't have to show that side of himself let's see ten of wands why is this here seven of swords <laughs> nine of wands okay wow i love it two of pentacles that's commitment right there things balancing out this is the two of pentacles is basically like being on a ship in the middle of a roaring ocean. You know how you rock from side to side, you get pushed to one side. Well, we've seen it. I've seen it in movies. I, I don't think I've ever experienced that fully, but you get pushed from one side to another. But you know, like, a, like the smart person steadies themselves, right? And just rocks with the boat i wanna rock with you all night look he studies himself on the that water and he's juggling too and he's balancing things out you know this is good this is really really good the future here for you and this person you know this is about partnership and the decision to keep it going So the, one of the biggest burden that they're dropping is the sneaky behavior. Okay, going forward, you can trust that that's coming to an end. The sneaky behavior as in running away, not dealing with any conflicts, big or small, um, ghosting, sto stonewalling, gaslighting, leaving you alone. And people can do those things and not be a narcissist, so but please don't think that I'm telling you to go and be with your narcissist because I'm, I'm not. Um, I wouldn't even know if they were or not. But the Seven of Swords is like 
No more theft, betrayal, and dishonesty. No more sneaking around out back or, you know. But this person also, it's strange. It looks just like my friend Jim. It's so weird. This person also um, goes around somebody. Maybe it's not your person. I just see an image of a man in a park with a cane with like a poker at the end of it, picking up garbage out of like, I just saw Central Park or some kind of park somewhere. <laughs> I can't get over how much this looks like my friend Jim. It's, it's weird. I, I almost don't want to send it to him because I don't, think the picture is very flattering but every time I look at it I'm constantly remembered anyway the end the end of the burden here and and for those of you who are dealing with someone that was struggling with work um yeah I'm seeing manual labor I'm seeing manual labor so this hangman this person is once they once that enlightenment comes about your connection the relationship and it's all like fantastic you know, and they, they just get that all-knowing sense that they, they are finally come home with you. They're going to defend it from anyone who has tried to hold them back. And I feel like it has a lot to do with family, too. Like, they're going to defend your connection, right? Because they were hesitant in the past to go forward with you because of family. But look how that person stands there in front of the hanged man and is defending the relationship you guys this is this beautiful soulmate connection and the one thing you both are very youthful looking too okay playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you both have um a youthfulness about you whether it's an appearance or how you play together or the things that you do it's a lot of fun or will be a lot of fun okay and that's that's the that's the best part of the relationship is the fun and the playful energy and laughing together oh my gosh that's the best part laughing with each other or making each other laugh you know or just teasing and having so much fun and I see that here. It's very nice. I just, I feel so happy. It's so nice. Um, what did I do last time? Did I get, guys, did I pull these, the Hidden Truth Oracle? I cannot remember. I don't think, oh, maybe I did. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to skip it tonight because honestly, your reading was just really good. Your reading was just really, really nice. I really liked it. It, it just flowed beautifully. And I feel like it's going to be very positive for you. And listen, when you're listening to this reading, I know you don't have to, It does. I say the next 24 hours because that's just when I'm uploading it. This energy can play out at any time. Okay. So it could be the end of July. You know, you don't know. So just take it in stride, right? These are here for your entertainment, for you to listen. When, when it happens, you're going to think, wait a minute, Moon Pai said this in this reading. So if there's a specific reading that you feel you might forget, just in case, or one that you really like or that struck you or something, um, hit your save video button on your app, and that will help you. You'll be able to save it in wherever you save your videos there on YouTube. But um, keep listening to the videos because you never know when the energy is going to play out, okay? So I'm going to get going. But I wish you all a very happy evening or day. Um, and again, yeah, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Love you so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Take care.